Blessed is our God, always down into the east of ages. Glory to you, God, I hope, Lord, glory be to thee. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls a good one. Each blight it is for the God of the Medical, the Immortal Mercy, and us for the God of the Medical, the Immortal Mercy, and us for the God of the Medical, the Immortal Mercy, and us for the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the Lamb of God, and to the Age, and to the Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be and our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, and seeing Him on the committees for the name's sake, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the Lamb of God, and to the Age, and to the Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ the King and our God. Mercy me, O God, according to the great mercy, and according to the multitude of the compassions, blood of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. And cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity, my sin is ever before me, and only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that I might be justified in thy words, and prevail in our judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and the sins of my mother bear me. For behold, out of truth, he had no secret things, for the wisdom that shall be manifest in me. Thou shalt speak of me, and this of a night shall be made clean, thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow, thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, and to be humble, thou shalt rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities, create a me clean heart of God, and renew right spirit within me, cast me not away from the presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me, restore to me the joy of thy salvation, with the governing spirit establish me. I shall teach and scriptures of ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee, deliver me from blood and guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in our righteousness. O Lord, I shall love my lips and my mouth, declare thy praise for thou hast desired sacrifice I give, and with over offerings so I shall not be pleased to a sacrifice in the God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, a humble God will not despise, to go to Lord and make a brother on the sign. Let the walls of Jerusalem be builded, then shall I be pleased for the sacrifice of righteousness, for the relation who were not for instance, for the offer of the Lord upon my altar. Blessed are the lameness and the way who walk in the law of the Lord, blessed are they that search out his testimonies with the whole hearts, so they seek out their hand for they that work in equity and walk in his ways. I was enjoying the commandments, so we should keep most diligently within my ways to direct thee to keep thy statutes, and shall I not be ashamed when I look on all the commandments. I will confess thee with the brightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of the righteousness. I will keep thy statutes and not utterly forsake me wherewith thou shalt the young man correct his way by keeping thy word. For my whole heart have I sought after thee, cast me not away from thy commandments. In my, in my heart have I hid thy sayings that I may not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes with my lips. Have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth and away thy testimonies? Have I found delight as much as, in all, as much as in all riches on thy commandments? Will I ponder and I will understand thy ways? On thy statutes will I meditate, and I will not forget thy words. Give reward unto thy servant, quicken me, and I will keep thy words. Unveil mine eyes, and I shall perceive wondrous things out of thy law. I am a sojourner on the earth. Hide not from me thy commandments. My soul hath long to desire thy judgment at all times. I will rebuke the proud. Cursed are all they to decline from thy commandments. Remove from me reproaching contempt, for after thy testimonies have I sought. The prince of Saturn, he spake against me, but thy servant pondered on thy statutes for thy testimony until my meditation. Thy statutes of my counselors, my soul hath cleaved unto the earth. Quicken me according to thy word. My ways have I declared, and I will serve me. Teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way in thy statutes, and I will ponder on the wondrous works. My soul does slumber from despondency. Strengthen me with thy words. Remove from me the way of unrighteousness, and with thy law of mercy. I have chosen the way of truth, and I judge have I not forgotten. I plead to thy testimonies, O Lord. Put me not to shame. The way of thy commandments have I run, but not let enlarge my heart. So perform me for a law, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I will seek after it continually. Give me understanding, and I will search out thy law, and I will keep it with my whole heart. Guide me in the path of thy commandments, for I have desired it, and incline my heart into thy testimonies, and not into covetousness. Turn away mine eyes, that it may not be vanity. Quicken thou me in thy way, establish for thy servant thine oracle, and the fear of thee, remove my reproach, which I fear, for the judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy commandments, and the righteousness quicken me. Let thy mercy come also upon me, O Lord, give me thy salvation according to thy words. So shall I give an answer to them that reproach me, for I have hoped in thy words, and take not utterly out of my mouth the word of truth, for in the judgments of I hope. So shall I keep thy law continually, forever, and unto the ages of ages, and I walk in spaciousness, for than the commandments that I saw, and I speak of the testimonies before kings, and I was not ashamed, and I meditated on all thy commandments, which I greatly loved. And I lifted up my hands to thy commandments which I have loved, and I pondered on thy statutes. Remember thy words to thy servant, wherein thou hath made me to hope. This hath comforted me in my humiliation, for thine oracle hath quickened me. The proud have transgressed exceedingly, but from thy law have I not declined. I remember thy judgment of old, the Lord, and was comforted. Despondency took hold upon me. Because of the sinners who forsake thy law, thy statutes of my songs, and the place of my sojourning, I remember thy name in the night, the Lord, and I kept thy law. This hath happened unto me, because I sought after thy statutes. Thou art my portion, O Lord, I said that I would keep thy law. I entreated thy countenance with my whole heart. Have mercy me according to thy word. I have thought on your ways, and I turn my feet back through thy testimony. I have made ready, and I must not trouble that I may keep thy commandments. 
The poor of sinners have entangled me, but the law have I not forgotten. And midnight I rose to give thanks unto thee for the judgment of thy righteousness. I am a partaker with all them. I fear thee with them that keep thy commandments. The earth, the Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Thou wilt dwell graciously with thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word, goodness and discipline and knowledge. Teach thou me for the commandments that I believe. Before I was humbled, I transgressed. Therefore, thy sayings have I kept. Thou art good, O Lord, and thy goodness. Teach me thy statutes. Multiplied against me hath been the unrighteousness of the proud, but it's for me with my whole heart while I search out the commandments. Cordial like milk is a heart, but it's for me and thy law. If I meditate, it is good for me that I was tumble, humbled me, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, Amen. Alleluia, 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 Glory to God. Alleluia, 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 Glory to God. Alleluia, 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 Glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Will now never end to the ages of ages of men. Thy hands of me be in fashion, me give me understanding, and I will learn the commandments. Say that fear they shall see me be glad. From the words have I set my hope. I have known, O Lord, I have known, O Lord, that thy justice are righteousness and with truth has humbled me. Let now thy mercy be my comfort according to thy saying to thy servant. Let thy compassions come upon me, and I shall live for thy loss, my meditation. Let the proud be put to shame for unjustly, or they transgressed against me, but as for me, I will ponder on the commandments, that those of fear they return unto me, and those of thy testimonies, that my heart be blameless in thy statutes, that I may not be put to shame. My soul fainted for thy salvation, on thy words, if I set my hope, mine eyes are grown dim with waiting for thine oracle, they say, when will thou comfort me? For I am become like a wine skin in a frost, yet they statue to me not forgotten. How many are the days of thy servant? When will thou execute judgment for me, and them that persecute me? Transgressors have told me fables, but they are not like their law. Lord, all thy commandments are truth. If thou art cause them and persecuted me, do thou help me? They well nigh made of enemy unto earth, but as for me, I forsook not thy commandments. According to thy mercy, quicken me, and I will keep the testimonies of thy mouth. Forever, O Lord, thy word abideth in heaven. Unto generation and generation is thy truth, thou hast laid the foundation of the earth, and it abideth by the goodness of the day abide for all things of thy servants. If thy law had not been my meditation, that I have perished in my humiliation, I will never forget thy statutes, for in them is up for me. I am thine, save me for anything I suffered. If I saw it, sinners have waited for me to destroy me, but the testimonies have I understood of all perfection, have I seen the outcome exceeding species of thy commandment. How I have loved thy law, Lord, of all day long, it is my meditation above mine enemies, as will make me wise in thy commandments, for it is mine forever. Above all, they teach me of a gained understanding, for the testimonies are my, med- are my, med- are my meditation. Above mine elders have I re- received understanding, for after the commandments have I sought from every way that is evil, have I restrained my feet, that I may keep thy words. From the judgments have I not declined, for thou hast set a law for me, how sweet to my palate are these things, more sweet and honey to my mouth, from the commandments have I gained understanding, therefore have I hated every way of unrighteousness. Thy law is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my paths. I have sworn and resolved that I would keep the judgments of thy righteousness. I was humbled exceedingly, Lord, quick me according to thy word. The free will offering of, I, of thy mouth be now, now please receive, O Lord, and teach me thy judgment. My soul is in thy hands continually, and I love and not forgotten. Sinners have set a snare for me, or from the commandment of a net strayed. I have inherited thy testimonies forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes forever as a recompense. Transgressors have I hated, but I love, I love, my helper, my protector, art thou, and the words have I set my hope. Depart from me, ye evil doers, and I will search out the commandments of my God, uphold me according to thy saying, and quicken me, and turn me not away, and shame from my expectation, help me, and I shall be saved, and I will meditate on thy statutes continually. Thou hast said it not, all the depart from thy statutes for unrighteousnesses are inward thought, I have reckoned as transgressors, all the sinners of the earth, therefore I have loved thy testimonies. Now down my flesh with the fear of thee, for thy judgments of my afraid, I brought judgment and righteousness, I give me not offended them that wrong me. Receive thy servant into good and let not the proud falsely accuse me. My eyes have failed with waiting for thy salvation, for the word of thy righteousness. Do with thy servant according to thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant, give me understanding, and I shall know thy testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have dispersed thy law. Therefore, every loving commandments more than gold will pass. Therefore, I direct myself according to all thy commandments, every way that is unrighteous of the heated. Wonderful are thy testimonies. Therefore, if my soul search them out, the unfolding of the words will give light and understanding, being unto babes. I open my mouth and ruin my breath, for I have longed for thy commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well down over unto the ages of ages of men, look upon me and have mercy me according to the judgment of them that love thy name, my steps thou direct according to thy saying, let no iniquity have dominion over me, deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments, make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Mine eyes have poured forth streams of waters, because I kept not thy law. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thou hast ordained as thy testimonies, exceeding righteousness and truth. My zeal for thee made me to pine away, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thine oracle is tried with fire to the uttermost, and thy servant have loved it. I am young and accounted as nothing, yet I such it have I not forgotten. Thy righteousness is, never la- is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is truth, tribulations, and necessities have found me, and thy commandments are my meditation. Thy testimony to righteousness forever. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I have cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, and I will seek out the day statutes. I have cried unto thee, save me now, keep thy testimonies. I arose in the dead of night, and I cried on the words of I set my hope, mine eyes hope before the morning, that I might meditate on these things. 
Hear my voice, O Lord, according to thy mercy, according to thy judgment, quicken me, that they have drawn nigh that all those who persecute me, but from thy law they far removed. Near art thou, O Lord, and all the ways are truth from the beginning. Have I known that thy testimonies that thou hast founded them forever? Behold my humiliation and rescue me, for thy love and not forgotten. And judge my cause and redeem me, for thy word's sake, quicken me. Far from sinners to salvation, for they have not sought after thy statutes, thy compassions are many, O Lord, according to thy judgment, quicken me. Many are they that persecute me and afflict me from thy testimonies, if I not decline. I beheld men acting foolishly, and I pined away, because they kept not thy sayings. Behold, how I have loved thy commandments, O Lord, and thy mercy quicken me. In the beginning of the words is truth, and all the judgments of thy righteousness endure forever. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, and because of thy words my heart have been afraid. I will rejoice in thy sayings, as one who findeth great spoil, and righteousness of a hated and poor, but thy law of thy loved. Seven times a day have I praised thee for the judgments of thy righteousness. Much peace of thee that love thy law, for then there is no stumbling block. I waited thy salvation, O Lord, and thy commandments of thy loved. My soul, I kept thy testimonies, and I have loved them exceedingly. I have kept the commandments, and I my testimonies. For all my ways are before thee, O Lord. Let my supplication draw nigh before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle. Give me understanding. Let my petition come before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle. Give me understanding. Let my petition come before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle. Deliver me. My lips shall pour forth a hymn, and I'll stop me in thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy sayings, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thy hand be for saving me, for I have chosen thy commandments. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and I lost my meditation. My soul shall live and shall praise thee, and thy chosen shall help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost, to seek thy servant, for I have not forgotten thy commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I rise today for a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, to the belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness towards the Creator. I rise today through the strength of Christ, with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion and his burial, through the strength of his resurrection, with his ascension. Through the strength of his ascent for the judgment day, I rise today through the strength of the love of cherubim and obedience of angels in the service of the archangels, in hope of resurrection to meet with reward in prayers of patriarchs, in predictions of prophets, in preachings of apostles, in faiths of confessors, in innocence of holy virgins, in deeds of righteous men. I rise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me. God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host, hosts to secure me against snares of demons, against temptations of ice, against inclinations of nature, against everyone who shall wish me ill, a fire in a hand alone and in a crowd. Christ to protect me this day against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that there may become abundance of reward. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me. Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ where I lie, Christ where I sit, Christ where I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who, who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I rise today through my strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through the belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness towards the Creator. Salvation is of the Lord, salvation is the Lord. Salvation is of Christ, may the salvation of the Lord be ever with us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and, heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. In one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered, and was buried. And the rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heavens, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who speak by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the, of the age to come. Amen. <laughs> Peace, beloved, the despot, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immerse us, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immerse us, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immerse us, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages, amen. O holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities, for the name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, down unto the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom cometh in the middle of the night, and blesses that servant whom he shall find watching. And again, unworthy is he whom he shall find heedless. Beware, therefore, O my soul, lest thou be burned down with sleep, lest thou be given up to death and be shut off from the kingdom, but rather rise thyself and cry, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O our God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as thou bringest them as thou bringest to mind the most fearful day, rouse thyself, O my soul, and be vigilant, and kindle that darkened lamp, and with oil make it radiant. For thou knowest not when thou wilt suddenly hear that voice that shall cry out, Behold, thou thy bridegroom is come to thee. Mark then, O my soul, like the, lest like those five foolish virgins thou sleep and remain without vainly knocking upon the door, but endure in all watchfulness, so that thou mightest meet Christ our God with rich oil, and that he might grant unto thee the fair divine bridal chamber of his glory evermore, both now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Thee do we entreat, O virgin, who art the impregnable wall and stronghold of our salvation, confound the counsels of the adversaries, change the sorrow of thy people into joy, recall thy world, uphold the dominion of the pious, intercede for the peace of the world. For thou, O Theotokos, art our hope, Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us, survive with thy holy angels, take guided and guarded by their array, we may attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the from thee who without corruption gave us birth to God, the word of the very Theotokos, to be magnified in the name of the Lord, Master, bless. God be gracious unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord, Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, curiosity, ambition, and idle talk, give me now. By a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love, bestow upon me thy servant. Yea, O Lord, King, grant me to see my own failings and not to condemn my brother, for blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. O God, be gracious unto me, sin. 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 O God, be gracious unto me, sin, and have mercy on me. Yea, Lord, King, grant me to see my non-failings, and not to condemn my brother for blessed are down to the ages of ages. Amen. O Sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Thou, Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, and mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which Thou knowest. Save me, that unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou, unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Almighty God, of hosts and of all flesh, who dwell on, on high, and looketh down on things that are lowly, who tries the hearts and reins, who clearly knowest the hidden things of men, that beginningless and everlasting life, with whom there is no variableness, neither the shadow of turning, do thou thyself, O immortal King, accept our entreaties which you offer unto thee from the foul lips at this present season of the night, taking boldness in the multitude of thy compassions and remit our transgressions in deed and word and thought, whether we have transgressed in knowledge or in ignorance, and cleanse us of every defilement of flesh and spirit, making us temples of the Holy Spirit, and grant that we might pass through the whole night of this present life with a vigilant heart and a sober mind, awaiting the coming of the radiant and manifest day of that only begotten Son, our Lord, our God, and Savior, Jesus Christ wherein he shall come upon earth with glory as the judge of all, to render under each according to his deeds, that we may not found reclining and sleeping, but waking and upright in the working of his commandments, and ready to enter with him into the joy of the divine bridal chamber of his glory, where the sound of them that keep festival is unceasing, and where there is the inexpressible delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou, the, the true light, that enlighteneth and sanctifieth the whole world, and all creation praiseth thee unto the ages of ages. Amen. With thee do we, thee do we bless thy most high God and Lord of mercy, who ever worketh with us deeds great and unfathomable, but glorious and extraordinary, whereas there is no number who hath given unto us sleep for rest from our infirmity and for repose for our much joy flesh. 
We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our iniquities, but hast shown thy wanted love for man. And though we were prostrated in despair, thou hast raised us up to glorify thy dominion. Wherefore, we beseech thy incomparable goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise our mind from the heavy sleep of slothfulness. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able to, unto, that we be able, undistracted to sing and chant, and give thanks unto thee, who art God, glorified in all by all, the beginningless Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good life creating Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship before thou before King God. O come, let us worship before thou before Christ, your King and God. O come, let us wish before them, before him, Christ, the King and our God. I have lifted up mine eyes to the mountains, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and the earth. Give not thy foot in a moving, and may he not slumber that keepeth thee. Behold, he shall not slumber, nor shall he sleep, he that keepeth Israel. The Lord shall keep thee, the Lord is thy shelter at thy right hand. The Lord, the sun shall not burn thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep thee from all evil. The Lord shall guard thy soul. The Lord shall keep thy coming in and thy going out from henceforth and forevermore. Behold, now bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand of the house of the Lord in the course of the house of our God. In the nights lift up your hands unto the holies and bless the Lord. The Lord bless thee out of sight, he that made heaven and the earth. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He is beloved to despot, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immerse in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immerse in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, immerse in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit, and unto the yes. of Jesus. Amen. Keep thy servants in remembrance, O Lord, since thou art good, and do thou forgive their every sin in this life. For no man is without sin, except for thee, who art able to grant rest even unto those who have departed hence. O thou, who by the depths of thy wisdom dost provide all things that are left for man, and grant us, and grant us unto all that which is profitable, O only Creator. Grant rest, O Lord, to the souls of thy servants, for in, thee have, for in thee have they placed their hope. O our Creator and Fashioner and God, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, where the saints could rest, O Christ, to the souls of thy servants, where there is neither pain, nor sorrow, nor sign, but life and ending, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All we, the generations, call thee blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for in thee he, the uncontainable one, Christ, our God, was pleased to be contained. Blessed are we also who have thee as protection. For day and night dost thou intercede for us, and the scepters of the kingdom are strengthened by thine entreaties. Wherefore, we with hymns we cry to thee, rejoice, and full of grace. The Lord is with thee. The Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Remember, O Lord, our fathers and brethren that have fallen asleep in hope of the resurrection of eternal life, and all that have ended their days in piety and faith, we give their every transgression in which they have willingly or unwillingly transgressed in word or deed or thought, and make them to dwell in places of light and places of virgin and places of refreshment, where every pain, sorrow, and sighing is fled away, where the visitation like countenance maketh glad all thy saints from ages past. Grant to them and us thy kingdom and participation, thine ineffable and eternal good things, and the enjoyment of, of thine and endless, of thine endless and blessed life without the life, the resurrection, and the repose of thy servants that have fallen asleep. O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send up glory with thy Father, who is without beginning, in thine all holy and good life fitting spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious ever virgin blessed they took us present our to thy Son and our God and pray that through thee he would save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge, the Son, my shelter, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, glory unto thee. Unto thee do I commit my every hope, and with O God, guard me unto thy shelter. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for lacking as we are in all defense. This supplication do we sit as offer unto thee as our master. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in thee have we placed all our trust. Be not wroth with us greatly, nor do thou remember our iniquities. But look upon us even now, since thou art compassionate. And do thou redeem us from our enemies, for thou art our God, and we thy people. All the works of thy hands, and upon thy name have we called. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Do thou open the portal of compassion unto us, from most blessed Theotokos. For hope he did thee, let us not fail, we pray. Through thee may we be delivered from adversities. For thou art the salvation of the Christian race.
Glory to the God of all Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master, bless. Christ, the true God, by the intercession of His own Magna, blameless Holy Mother, by the supplications of the Lord, and glorious power from Baptist John, our Holy Patron, John Maximilian, Church Bishop of San Francisco, the one who worked with the Holy Righteous Sciences of God, Joel, Kim Nana. Of our righteous fathers who were slain by the Bedouins in the monastery of St. Sabbath, sanctified, and our father among the saints, Cuthbert, wonder worker, Bishop of Lindisfarne, and St. Herbert, his fellow, who said, I was married, we keep the reign of all the saints, and mercy save us, for he is good and the friend of men. Pray for the peace of the world, for pious and those Christians, for Father and Archbishop Demetrius, and his Lord, and our brotherhood in Christ, Lord, perhaps our fathers and brethren, Lord, for those that minister and minister unto us, Lord, for those that hate us and those that love us, Lord, for those that have enjoined us, the unworthy pray for them, for the release of captives, Lord, for the safety of those that travel by sea, land, and air, Lord, for those lying in illness. Lord, Let us pray also for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and for Lord, the soul of every Orthodox Christian. Lord, <clears throat> Let us bless the pious kings, the Orthodox bishops, the founders of this holy monastery, our parents and teachers, and all our fathers and brethren who have gone to the rest for us, the Orthodox here never piously lead to rest. And let us say also for ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The prayers of the Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, for God have mercy. The prayers of the Master, Lord Jesus Christ, for God have mercy, and save us. Blessed is our God, always down unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Peaceful light, dear Despoto. Holy God, holy mighty, holy word, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for our name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship before them, before King and God. O come, let us worship before them, before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship before them, before him, Christ the King, our God. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction, in the name of the God of Jacob, defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help in the sanctuary, and out of sign, let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine and thy full burnt offering, and let him fat, and the Lord grant thee according to thy heart to fulfill thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill thy request. Now have I known that the Lord is Savior's anointed one. He will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. In mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and seven horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the king and hearken unto us the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the king shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart hast thou granted unto him, and hast not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life for thee, and thou gavest him length of days unto ages of ages. Great is his glory in thy salvation. Glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him, for thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him in joy with thy countenance. For the King hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies, let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them sorely, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee, they have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. 
Thou shalt make them turn their backs among those who are thy remnant. Thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace for life, to thus with our holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto our monarchs victory over adversaries, and by the power of thy cross, without thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou who is raised up in the cross with the known will of Christ our God, do thou bestow the compassions upon this thy new commonwealth named after thee. Gladden with thy sovereign might our most orthodox monarchs and vouchsafe them victory over every adversary. And as thy help and warm they possess the weapon of peace, a trophy invincible, hold now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O dread protection that cannot be put to shame, disdain not the good when our entreaties, O all whom say tokos, make steadfast the commonwealth of the orthodox, protect those whom thou hast enjoined to rule over us, regret and victory from on high. For thou hast given birth to God, only blessed one. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why they multiply that afflict me, may they rise up against me, many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God, but thou, O Lord, of my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten off without a cause of mine enemies. The teeth of sinners are so broken. Salvation is the Lord, and I blessing it upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened to me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities have risen higher than my head is a heavy burden, as it pressed heavily upon me. My bruises have become noise, and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end, all the day long, and went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly, I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and so did my nearest of kin, stood afar off, and they that sought out of my soul, used violence, and they that sought evils for me, spake vain things and craftinesses, all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and I hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hope, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I. And they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me, because I pursue goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul I thirst before thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee, in a lamb barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary I've appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory, for thy mercy is better than lives. So my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands, as with marrow and fatness, and my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed, at the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me, but as for these in vain, that they sought after my soul, they shall go into the northernmost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be, but the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised and sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped, they speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I
Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but none of it, and to the ages of ages of men. O Lord, a God of my salvation by day, by cry, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down and ear to my supplication, fulfilled with evils is my soul and my life, and the Hades are drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, from thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and in a shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all the billows is abroad upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. My eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and that truth and that destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be made known in that darkness and that righteousness and that land that is forgotten, but is for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, is the cast off my soul, and turneth thy face away from me. A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, and they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed far from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down and ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, and crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things. Thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles, the Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities have they dealt with us, neither according to our sins have they rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them, I fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them I fear him, and his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them I keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength to perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, to do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication, and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness, as though they have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all thy works, so I pondered on the creation of thy hands, I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them, and go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for in thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirits shall lead me in the land of uprightness, for thy name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me, and thy righteousness shall I bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy mine enemies, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me to the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, our hope of Lord. Glory be to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord Lord for the peace of above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord Lord for the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord for this holy house and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein. Let us pray to the Lord Lord for our Father and our Church Demetrius and his son of the Lord and Presbyterian Diacon in Christ. For all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord for the sacred monastery of this town, for every city, town, and countryside, and the faithful that dwell therein. Let us pray to the Lord for seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for them that travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives, and their salvation. Let us pray Lord, to the Lord for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray Lord, to the Lord, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Call you to remembrance for all holy Mac, the most blessed, most glorious, holy, <coughs> Lady Theodox, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Do for unto thee is no all glory, honor, and worship of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the night my spirit waketh at dawn unto 
thee, O God, for thy commandments are a light upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Learn righteousness, ye that dwell upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Zeal shall lay hold upon an uninstructed people, and now fire shall devour the adversaries. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Add more evils upon them, O Lord, add more evils upon them that are glorious upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. That are upon the earth, imitating the hosts on high, offer thee a triumphal hymn, O good one. Holy, holy, holy art thou, God. Through the intercessions of the forerunner, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O uncreated nature, artificer of all things, open our lips that we might declare thy praise as we cry out. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the intercessions of the hierarch, have mercy on us. Lord, now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Having raised me from bed and sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open thou my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and unto the Holy Spirit, but now and over unto the ages of ages, amen. In thee, O Lord, have I hope, let me not be put to shame in the age to come in thy righteousness, deliver me, and rescue me, incline and near to me, and save me. Be thou unto me, O God, that is my defender, in a place of strength, that thou mayest save me, for thou art my foundation and refuge. O my God, deliver me out of the hand of the sinner, out of the hand of the transgressor, and the unrighteous man, for thou art my patience, O Lord, O Lord, thou art my hope from my youth. On thee, have been made, on thee have I been made fast from the womb, from my mother's womb, thou art my protector, and thee continually is my singing of praise. I am become as a wonder to many, and thou art my strong helper. Let my mouth be filled with praise, and I may him thy glory and the majesty all that day long. Cast me not away in a time of mine old age, when my strength faileth. Forsake me not, for mine enemies have spoken against me. They that watch my soul took counsel together, saying, God, I forsaken him, pursue him, and take him, for there is none to deliver him. My God, be not far off from me. My God, be attentive unto helping me. Let him be put to shame and brought to naught that falsely accuse my soul. Let him be covered with shame and confusion. They that seek evils for me, but as for me, I'll ever hope in thee, and I'll add to all thy praise. My mouth shall declare thy righteousness all the day long. Thy salvation, for I know not the reckoning thereof. I'll commence in the mind of the Lord. I'll make mention of the righteousness which is thine alone. O my God, thou hast taught me from my youth until now, will I declare thy wondrous works. Yea, even unto old age and the dignity of years, my God, forsake me not until I declare thy mighty arm to every generation that is to come. Yea, thy sovereignty and thy righteousness, O God, and declare even to the heights the great things which thou hast done for me. O God, who is like unto thee, how great are the many and evil afflictions which thou hast shown unto me, yet having in turn thou hast madest me to live, and out of the depths of the earth thou broughtest me up, thou hast multiplied thy magnificence over me, and having returned thou hast comforted me, and out of the depths of the earth again thou broughtest me up. Therefore also will I confess thee among the peoples, O Lord, and with instruments of somebody, with the harp will I chant of thy truth unto thee, O God, O Holy One of Israel. My lips shall rejoice when I chant unto thee, yea, even my soul which shall is redeemed. Moreover, my tongue will meditate on thy righteousness all the day long, when they be put to shame and be confo and confounded, that seek peoples for me. O God, give thy judgment to the king, and thy righteousness to the son of the king, that he may judge thy peoples with righteousness, and the poor with judgment. Let the mountains receive peace for the people, and let the hills receive righteousness. He shall judge the beggars among the people, and shall save the sons of the poor, and shall humble the false accuser. He shall continue as long as the sun before the moon, from generation to generation. He shall come down like rain upon a fleece, and like raindrops that fall upon the earth. In his days shall righteousness dawn forth in abundance of peace until the moon be taken away. He shall have dominion from sea to sea, and from the rivers even unto the ends of the inhabited earth. Before him shall the Ethiopians fall down, his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tharsis and the islands shall bring gifts. The kings of the Arabians and Saba shall bring presents. And all the kings of the earth shall worship him. All the nations shall serve him. For he hath delivered the beggar from the oppressor, the poor man for whom there is no helper. He shall spare the poor man and the pauper, and the souls of the poor shall he save from usury and from injustices shall he redeem their souls. And precious shall be his name before them. And he shall live, and there shall be given unto him the gold of Arabia. And he shall make prayer concerning him always. All the day long they shall bless him. He shall be a support in the earth on the summits of the mountains. Exalted more than Lebanon shall be his fruit. And they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. His name shall be blessed unto the ages before the sun. Let his name continue, and in him shall be blessed all the tribes of the earth. All the nations shall call him blessed. Blessed is the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone doth wonders. And blessed is the name of his glory forever and unto the ages of ages. And the earth shall be filled with his glory. So be it, so be it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> 
Jesus, Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. How good is God to Israel, to them that are upright of heart. But as for me, my feet were all but shaken, my steps well nigh had slipped. For I was jealous of the transgressors when I beheld the peace of sinners. For they make no sign of refusal in a time of their death, and they have steadfastness in a time of their scourging. They are not in such toils as other men, nor with other men shall they be scourged. Wherefore, their pride hath utterly mastered them. They have wrapped themselves in their injustice and ungodliness. Their injustice shall go forth as out of fatness, as they pass through to their heart's intent. They have spoken in wickedness. They have spoken unrighteousness and arrogance. They have set their mouth against heaven, and their tongue roveth in the earth. Therefore shall my people return hither, and full of days shall be found in them. And they said, How doth God know? And is your knowledge in the most high? Behold, these are the sinners who prosper in this age, and have obtained riches. And I said, Surely in vain have I kept justice in my heart, and washed my hands among the innocent. And I became a man scourged all day long, and reproof is mine in every morning. And I said, I shall speak thus, lo, I should have broken covenant with the generation of thy sons. And I sought to understand, but this is toilsome in my sight, until I came to the sanctuary of God, and understood therein. Surely for their crafty dealings, as I appointed evils for them, thou hast cast them down in their exaltation. How will they come into desolation in a moment? They have ceased to be. They have perished because of their iniquity, as a dream of one who awaketh the Lord in thy city. Shall they bring their image to naught? For my heart was fired, and my reins have been changed, and I was brought to naught, and I knew it not. I became as a beast before thee, and I am ever with thee. Thou hast held me by my right hand, and by thy counsel hast thou guided me, and with glory hast thou taken me to thyself. For what have I in heaven, and besides thee, what have I desired upon earth? My heart and my flesh have failed, O God of my heart, and God is my portion forever. For behold, they that remove themselves shall perish. Um, for before, before behold, they that remove themselves from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all that go a-whoring from thee. But it is good for me to cleave unto God, to put my hope in the Lord, that I may declare... All thy praises in the gates of the daughter of Sion. O God, why hast thou cast us off unto the end? Why this thine anger raged against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased from the beginning. Thou hast redeemed the rod of thine inheritance to smelt Sion, where now hast dwelt. Lift up thy hands against their pride at the end, against the things which the enemy had wickedly done in thy holy place. And they that hate thee have boasted in the midst of thy feast. They set up in signs, yea, signs, though they knew it not, as it were for the departing on high, as in a forest of trees with axes they cut down their, thereof together. The doors thereof, together with two-edged axe and mason samurai, they broken it down. With fire had they burned down thy sanctuary. They profaned even unto the ground the habitation of thy name. They said in their heart, even the whole kindred of them together, Come, let us abolish all the feasts of God from the earth. Our signs have we not seen, and there is no more any prophet, and you will know us no more. How long, O God, shall the enemy utter reproaches? Shall the adversary provoke thy name to the end? Wherefore, turn us away thy hand and thy right hand out of the midst of thy bosom forever. But God is our king before the ages. He hath wrought salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou didst establish the sea by thy might. Thou dost break the heads of the dragon in the water. Thou dost crush the head of the dragon. Thou givest him his food to the Ethiopian peoples. Thou dost cloven fountains and torrents. Thou dost dried up the rivers of Atham. Thine is the day and thine is the night. Thou dost perfected the light and the sun. Thou dost made the borders of the earth. Summer and spring is no fashion. Be mindful of this, thy creation. The enemy hath reproached the Lord, and the mindless people hath provoked thy name. O deliver not unto beasts the soul which shall confess thee, the souls of thy paupers. Be not forgetful unto the end. Look thou upon thy covenant, for the dark places of the earth are filled with the houses of iniquity. Let not the humbled and shamed man be turned away. The beggar and the poor man shall praise thy name. Arise, O God, judge thine own cause. Remember the reproach made against thee by the mindless man all the day long. Forget not the voice of thy suppliants. The pride of them that hate thee ascendeth continually. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and the ages of ages, amen. I will confess to you, God. Well, we will confess to you, O God. We will confess to you, we will, and we will call upon thy name. I will tell of all thy wonders when I am given. The appointed time I will judge uprightly. The earth is melted, and all that dwell therein. It is I that made steadfast the pillars thereof. I said to the transgressors, Do not transgress, and to the sinners, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high, and speak not unrighteousness against God. For judgment cometh not from the byways, nor from the west, nor from the wet desert mountains. For God is judge. This man he humbleth, and another he exalteth. For in the hand of the Lord there is a brimming cup of unmingled wine. He hath inclined it from side to side, but the dregs thereof were not fully emptied out. All the sinners of the earth shall drink of them. But as for me, I will rejoice forever. I will chant unto the God of Jacob, and all the horns of the sinners will I break. But this horn of the righteous man shall be exalted. In Judea is God known. His name is great in Israel, and his place have been made in peace in his dwelling in Sion. There did he break the power of the bow, the weapon, and the sword, and the battle. Thou shunnest wondrously from the everlasting mountains. All the foolish of heart were troubled. 
They have slept their sleep, and all the men of wealth have found nothing in their hands. At thy rebuke, O God of Jacob, they that have mounted upon horses fell aslumber. Thou art to be feared, and who shall withstand thee from thenceforth as thy wrath? Thou hast caused judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when God rose up to judgment to save all the meek of the earth. For the inward thought of man shall give praise unto thee, and the remainder of his inward thought shall give a feast to thee. Make your vows and pay them to the Lord our God. All that are round about him shall bring gifts to him that is to be feared, and take away the spirits of princes to him that is to be feared among the kings of the earth. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried with my voice unto God, and he was attentive unto me. And in the day of my affliction I sought out God with my hands upraised by night before him, and I was not deceived. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was glad, and I spake in idleness, and my spirit became faint-hearted. Mine eyes were wakeful before the watches. I was troubled and spake not. I thought upon the days of old, and years of ages past. I called to mind, and I meditated. By night I pondered in my heart and my spirit, searched diligently. But the Lord then cast me off into the ages. Will he be favorable no more? Will he cut off his mercy into the end? Hath he brought to an end his word from generation to generation? Or will the Lord forget to be merciful, or in his wrath will he shut up his compassions forever? And I said, Now I have made a beginning. This change has been wrought by the right hand of the Most High. I remember the works of the Lord, for I will remember thy wonders from the beginning. And I will meditate on thy works, and I will ponder upon thy ways. O God, in the sanctuary is thy way. What God is as great as our God. Thou art God of workers' wonders. Thou hast made thy power known among the peoples, thine arm, and with thine arm hast thou redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee, and were afraid. The abysses were troubled, the great was the resounding sound of the waters, the clouds gave forth a voice. Yea, for thine arrows passed abroad, and the voice of thy thunder is in a rolling, and the lightnings have lighted the world. The earth was, uh, the earth was shaken, and it trembled. And the sea are thy byways, and thy paths of many watchers, and thy footsteps shall not be known. Thou lettest thy people as sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Amen. <laughs> Have mercy on me, said David, and I also cry unto thee. I have sinned, O Savior, blot out my sins through repentance, and have mercy on me. O Lord, rebuke me not in the anger, nor chasten me in the wrath. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Lamented David over two sins. I cry unto thee concerning ten thousands of sins. He watered his couch with tears, but I have not even one drop. I am in despair, and I pray, have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy. Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, this day may not, who ask help from thee, from my soul, hath trusted in thee, have mercy on me. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and end, to the ages of ages. Amen. Give heed, O my people, to my law, incline your ear unto the, wor- unto the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter dark sayings which have been from the beginning, even those things that we have heard and we have known, which our fathers have told us. They were not hid from their children in another generation. They declared the praises of the Lord and his mighty acts and his wonders which he wrought. And he raised up a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. Even those things he had commanded our fathers to make the same known unto their children that another generation might know. Even the sons about to be born that they in turn might arise and declare them unto their sons. And that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God but seek after his commandments. And they might not be as their fathers a generation perverse and provoking. A generation that set not their heart aright and which kept not their spirit steadfast with God. The sons of Frem that abandoned and shoot with bows turned back in the day of battle. That they kept not the covenant of God and in his law they were not fain to walk. They forgot his benefits and his wonders that he had showed unto them, even the wonders he had done in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt and the plain of Tanis. And he divided the sea and brought them through. He made the waters to stand as in a wineskin. He guided them with a cloud by day and all the night with a light of fire. He divided the rock in the wilderness and gave them to drink as in a great deep. He led forth water out of the rock and he brought down waters like rivers. And they added yet more sin against them. They embittered the Most High in the waterless place. And they made trial of God in their hearts that for ask, by asking food for their souls. And they spake against God and they said, Cannot God prepare a table in the wilderness? 
because he smote a rock and water streamed forth and water and torrents overtur- overflowed. Can he give bread also or prepare a table for his people? Wherefore the Lord heard and was stirred up and his fire was kindled in Jacob and wrath rose up against Israel because they believed not in God and hoped not in his salvation. And he commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven and rained man on them to eat and the bread of heaven did he give unto them. Man ate the bread of angels provision he sent unto them the full. He removed the south wind from heaven and brought by, in by his might, went, might the southwest wind. And he rained on them flesh as it were dust and feathered birds like the sands of the sea, which fell in the midst of their camp round about their tents. And they ate and were filled exceedingly, and their desire did he give unto them, nor were they deprived of their desire. But while their food was yet in their mouth, the wrath of God rose up against them, and he slew their stout ones and shackled the choice men of Israel. In all these, day, in all these things they sinned the more and believed not in his wonders, and their days were consumed in vanity and their years with haste. When he slew them, then they sought after him, they turned back and, required, and inquired early after God. And they remembered that God is their help and that God the Most High is their Redeemer. And they loved him with their mouth and with their tongue they lied unto him. For their heart was not right with him, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But he is compassionate and will be gracious unto their sins and will not destroy. And many a time will he turn his anger away and will not kindle all his wrath. And remembered that they are but flesh, breath which passeth away and cometh but not back again. How often did they embitter him in the wilderness and move him to wrath in the waterless land. They turned back and made trial of God and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not his hand or the day wherein he redeemed them from the hand of the oppressor. How he had wrought in Egypt his signs and the marvels in the plain of Tanis. Yea, he had turned into blood their rivers and their rainfalls that they might not drink. And it sent against them the dog flying it devoured them and the frog and it destroyed them. And had given to the canker worm their fruits and their labors to the locust. And destroyed with hail their vine and their mulberry trees with frost. And had given over to hail their cattle and their substance to the fire. And he sent forth against them the wrath of his anger, anger and wrath and affliction and mission performed by evil angels. And he made a path for his wrath and he spared not from death their souls and their cattle he shut up in death. And he had smitten every firstborn in the land of Egypt, the firstlings of all their labor in the tabernacles of Ham. And he took away his people as sheep, and he led them forth as a flock in the wilderness. And he guided them in hope, and they feared not, and the sea covered up their enemies. And he brought them into the mountains of his sanctuary, this mountain which his right hand had gained as a possession. He cast out the heathen before their face, and apportioned them an inheritance by lot. And he settled in their tents the tribes of Israel. But they tempted and embittered God the Most High in his testimonies they did not keep. And they turned back and break covenant, even as their fathers did, they became like unto a crooked bow. And they provoked him to wrath along their hills, and with graven images they moved him to jealousy. God heard and regarded them no more, and set Israel utterly at naught. And he rejected his dwelling of Siloam, his dwelling where he had dwelt among men. And he gave over to captivity their strength and their beauty into the hands of enemies. And with a sword he enclosed his people, and his inheritance that he regarded no more. Fire consumed their young men, and the virgins were lamented not. Their priests fell by the sword, and none shall weep for their widows. And the Lord awoke as one that sleepeth like a mighty man, grown coyed with wine. And he smote his enemies upon their backs, reproach everlasting he gave to them. And he rejected the dwelling of Joseph, and he chose not the tribe of Ephraim. And he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Sion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like that of a unicorn on the earth. He established it forever. And he chose out David his servant and took him up from the flocks of sheep from fallen the ewes great with young. He took him to shepherd Jacob his servant in Israel and his inheritance. And he did shepherd them in the innocence of his heart. And by the skillfulness of his hands he guided them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <coughs> glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, the heathen are coming into thy inheritance. They have defiled thy holy temple. They have made Jerusalem as it were the hut of an orchard keeper. They have made the dead bodies of thy servants to be food for the birds of heaven, the flesh of thy saints for the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem. There is none to bury them. We are become a reproach among our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, O Lord, wilt thou be wroth unto the end? Shall thy jealousy be kindled like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the nations that know thee not, upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. For they have devoured Jacob, and his place have they made desolate. Remember not our iniquities of old. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. 
O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. <coughs> Lest happy the nations say, Where is their God? Ye make known among the nations before our eyes the vengeance for thy servant's blood which hath been shed. Let there come before thee the groaning of them that be in fetters. According to the greatness of thine arm, show thy care for the sons of the slain, and render to our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom the reproach wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. For we are thy people and the sheep of thy pasture. We will confess thee, O God, forever, unto generation and generation we will declare thy praise. O shepherd of Israel, attend thou that leadest Joseph like a sheep. Thou that sittest on the cherubim, manifest thyself before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasses. Stir up thy might and come to save us. O God, make us return and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord, God of hosts, how long wilt thou be wroth against the prayer of thy servants? Wilt thou feed us with the bread of tears, and wilt thou give us for drink tears and measure? Thou hast made us again saint among our neighbors, and our enemies have scoffed at us. O Lord of hosts, make us return and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. A vine hast thou brought out of Egypt, thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Thou hast prepared the way before it, thou hast planted the roots thereof, and it filled the earth. The shadows thereof covered the mountains, and the boughs thereof, the cedars of God. It stretched forth its shoots into the sea, and its branches into the rivers. Why hast thou broken down the hedge thereof, and all the paths along the way to pluck the fruit? The boar of the forest hath laid it to waste, and the wild beast hath devoured it. O God of hosts, return again, and look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine, and perfect that which thy right hand hath planted, and look upon the Son of Man, whom thou madest strong for thyself. It is burned with fire and is dug up at the rebuke, rebuke of thy face. They shall perish. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand and upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself. And we will not depart from thee. Thou shalt quicken us and we shall call upon thy name. O Lord God of hosts, make us return and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved. Rejoice in God our, haper, our helper. Shout with joy to the God of Jacob. Take up a psalm and bring the timbrel with the pleasant psaltery with the harp. Sound the trumpet at the new moon and the notable day of our feast, for this is an ordinance for Israel and a judgment of the God of Jacob. He ordained it for a testimony in Joseph when he went out from the land of Egypt, a tongue which he knew not did he hear. He removed his back from burdens, his hand enslaved at the basket. That is, call upon me in the affliction, I deliver thee. I heard thee in the secret place of the tempest, I made trial of thee at the water of gain, saying, Hear, O my people, and I will speak unto thee, O Israel, and I will testify unto thee. If thou hearest me, there shall be in thee no new God, nor shall thou worship an alien God. For I am the Lord thy God, who led thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people heard not my voice, and Israel gave no heed unto me. And I let them go according to the ways of their hearts, and they shall walk in their own ways. If my people had heard me, if Israel had walked in my ways, quickly would I have humbled their enemies, and upon their oppressors would I have laid my hand. The enemies of the Lord have lied unto him, but in that age their time shall come. And he fed them with the fat of wheat, and with the honey out of the rock. He established them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God stood in the congregation of the gods, and in the midst he shall stand out among gods. How long we judge unrighteously and accept the person of sinners? Judge for the orphan and the poor man, do justice to the humble and the pauper. Rescue the poor man and the needy from the hand of the sinner, deliver him. They have not known nor understood, they walk in darkness, let all the foundations of the earth be shaken. I said, Ye are gods and all of you sons of the Most High, but like men ye die, and like one of the rulers do ye fall. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt have an inheritance among all the nations. O God, who shall be likened unto thee? Be thou not silent, neither be still, O God. For behold, thine enemies have made a noise, and they that hate thee have lifted up their heads. Against thy people have they taken wicked counsel, and have conspired against thy saints. They said, Come, let us utterly destroy them, that they may be no more a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. For they have conspired with oneness of mind together. Against thee have they made a covenant, even the tents of the Edomians and the Ishmaelites. Moab and, Gag and the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon, and Amalek and the foreigners that dwell with them at Tyre. Yea, for even the sure is come with them, they are become a help for the sons of Lot. Do it in them as thou didst the Madium and Sisera and the Jabin at the brook of Kison. They were utterly destroyed and ender, they became as dung for the earth. Make their princes like Oreb and Zeb and Zilbi and Salmana. Yea, all the princes who said, Let us take to ourselves for an inheritance the sanctuary of God. O God, my, <clears throat> O my God, make them like a wheel as a stubble before the face of the wind, 
as fire which shall burn the forest, as a flame which shall consume the mountains. So shalt thou pursue them with thy tempest, and in thy wrath shalt thou trouble them. Fill their faces with dishonor, and they shall seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be turned back and, tr and troubled under ages of ages, and let them be confounded and destroyed. And let them know that thy name is Lord, thou alone art most high over all the earth. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth and fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart, my flesh, is ever rejoice in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a for herself, where she may lay her young. Even, I hold, uh, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and to ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is in front of thee, he hath made a sense in his heart, and the veil of weeping in the place which he hath anointed, which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in sign. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one, for better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. The Lord loveth mercy and truth, God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord, God of hosts, blessed is a man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, to thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all their wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation do thy given to us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their heart into him. Surely nigh to them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung up out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and end, to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. A hopeful Lord, glory be to thee. Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and mercy. Help us to give us our and give us to God by thy grace. Lord and mercy. Call us for all holy back the most blessed, the glorious lady, the Lord, and the virgin name of all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life into Christ our God. For a good and man, finding God, our down and the we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us purify ourselves both by prayer and faith and faultless fasting, and let us attend upon God by providing for the needy. With fervor come, let us sigh and mourn, while yet we have the time for turning back. That delivered from that morning that had no end in fiery flames of Gehenna, we might send up glory unto Christ, who had appointed repentance for all mortal men, that turn back again to him with the brightness of mind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us purify ourselves both by prayer and faultless fasting, and let us attend upon God by providing for the needy. With fervor come, let us sigh and mourn, while yet we have the time for turning back, that delivered from that morning that hath no end in fiery flames of Gehenna. We might send up glory unto Christ, who with appointed repentance for all mortal men, that turn back again to him with uprightness of mind. Lord, thou art ever into the ages of ages, amen. O stretch forth thy divine hands, which carried the Creator, who in his great, bo who in his great goodness became flesh, thou, o thou, o holy virgin. Beseech him with fervor to redeem from passions and temptations of all kinds. And all the angels, us who faithfully sing thy praise and cry out to thee with longing. Glory to him that wilt to dwell in thee. Glory to him that came for, forth from thee. Glory to him that through thy bringing forth had delivered us. Glory to mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and the of the ages of ages. Amen. 
Bow down to me, O Lord, and hearken unto me for poor and needy mine. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous and mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplication. In a day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations and thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name, for thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, Lord, and I wait, and I'll walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice, and I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever, for great is thy mercy upon me, and thou wilt deliver my soul from the nether most Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me in the, in the assembly of the mighty, has sought out my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, are compassionate and merciful, long suffering, plenteous in mercy, and true. Look upon me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy hand maiden. Work in me a sign and a good, and let them may hate me, behold, and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast opened and comforted me. His foundations are in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me, and lo, the foreigners and Tyre, and the people of the Ethiopians. These were born there. A man will save mother Zion, and that man was born in her, and the Most High himself have founded her. The Lord shall tell it and rid to the peoples and the princes, even these that were born in her. How joyous are all that have their habitation in thee, O Lord God of my salvation by day, have I cried in my name before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down and near to my supplication. Fulfilled with evils is my soul, and my life into Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, and thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows that are brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. Mine eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, and they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth, and that destruction. Nay, shall the wonders be made known in that darkness, and that righteousness, and that land it is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried. In the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, does it cast off my soul, and turn his face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. The furies have passed upon me, and the terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Of thy mercies, O Lord, will I sing forever unto generation and generation. Would I declare thy truth with my mouth? For thou hast said, Mercy shall be built up forever in the heavens, that I shall thy truth be established. I have made a covenant with, thy, with my chosen ones. I have sworn unto David, my servant, I will establish thy seed unto eternity, and build up thy throne unto generation and generation. I heaven shall confess thy wonders of the Lord, and thy truth in the congregation of saints. For who in a cloud shall be compared unto the Lord, and who shall be likened to the Lord among the sons of God? And God is glorified. God, who is glorified in the counsel of, his, of the saints, is great and terrible towards all that are round about him. O Lord, God of hosts, who is like unto thee, mighty art thou, O Lord, and thy truth is round about thee. Thou art sovereign over the strength of the sea, and the tumult of her ways thou makest calm. Thou hast brought the proud man low, as a corpse of one slain. With the arm of thy power hast thou scattered thine enemies. Thine are the heavens, and thine is the earth, the world, and the the fullness thereof, hast thou founded the north and the sea as thou created. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thine is the arm that hath might. Let thy hand be strengthened, let thy right hand be lifted up on high. Righteousness and judgment are the establishment of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that knoweth tribulation. O Lord, in the light of thy face shall they walk, and in thy name shall they rejoice all the day long, and in their righteousness shall they be exalted. For the boast of their strength art thou, and thy good pleasure shall our horn be lifted high. For from the Lord is our defense, yea, from the Holy One of Israel, our King, at that time thou speakest in a vision to thy sons, and others say, I have bestowed help on one that is mighty. I have raised up one chosen out of my people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. For my hand shall be unto him an ally, and my arms shall strengthen him. No advantage shall his enemy have over him, nor shall the son of iniquity avail to hurt him any more. And I will hew down his enemies before his face, and them that hate him. Shall I put to flight, and my truth and my mercy shall be with him, and in thy name will I, is, shall his horn be lifted high. And I will set his hand in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall call upon me, and shall say, My father art thou, my God, and the helper of my salvation. And as for me, I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. Forever shall I keep for him my mercy, and my covenant shall be faithful unto him. And I will establish his seed unto ages of ages, and his throne shall be as the days of heaven. If his sons forsake my law, if they walk not in my judgments, if my statutes if they profane and keep not my commandments, I will visit their iniquities with the rod and their injustices with scourges, but my mercy will I not disperse away from them, nor will I wrong them in my truth, nor will I profane my covenant, nor the things that proceed from my lips will I make void. 
Once I have sworn by my holiness that David, I will not lie, his seed forever shall abide, and his throne shall be as the day, sun before me, and as the moon that is established before, uh, forever, and as the faithful witness in the sky. But thou hast cast off and brought to naught, thou hast been wroth with thine anointed, thou hast destroyed the covenant of thy servant, thou hast profaned his sanctuary unto the earth, thou hast broken down all his hedges, thou hast made his strongholds to be his terror. All have despoiled him that pass along the way, he has become a reproach unto his neighbors. Thou hast exalted the right hand of them that afflict him, thou hast gladdened all his enemies, thou hast turned away the help of his sword and has not helped them in the battle, thou hast made the end of his purification, is thrown unto the earth as thou cast down, thou hast shortened the days of his time, thou hast poured down shame upon him. <clears throat> How long, O Lord, dost thou turn away unto the end? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember what my substance is, nay, hast thou created all the sons of men in vain? Who is a man that should live and not see death? Can he deliver his soul out of the hand of Hades? Where are thine ancient mercies, O Lord, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, O Lord, the reproaches of thy servants, which I have endured in my bosom for many nations, wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the recompense of thine anointed. Blessed is the Lord forever, so be it, so be it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. Where is the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit? Both now and ever unto the ages of ages of men. Lord, thou hast been a refuge in generation and generation before the mountains came to be, and the earth was formed, and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn not man away in the lowliness, yea, thou said, Turn back, ye sons of men. For a thousand years in thine eyes, the Lord, but as yesterday, that is passing as a watch in the night. Things of no account through the years be in the morning like grass, and pass away, shall man pass away. <clears throat> In the morning shall they bloom and pass away, in the evening shall they fall and grow withered and dry, for we have fainted away in thy wrath, and in thine anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life's madness, and the light of thy countenance, for all our days are faded away, and in thy wrath have we fainted away. Our years like a spider have spun out their tail, as for the days of our years and their span, will be threescore years and ten, and if we be in strength, may up fourscore years, and what is more than these is toil and travail, for my illness has come upon us, and we should be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and not a fear thee, who can recount thine anger? So make thy right hand known to me, and to them that in their heart are instructed in wisdom, eternal Lord, how long will be thou entreating concerning thy servants? We are filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice and we are glad. In all our days, let us be glad, for the days when thou dost humble us, for the years when we saw evils. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works, that thou guide their sons, and let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands, that thou guide right upon us, see the work of our hands, that thou guide right. <coughs> He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper, my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him, for he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters or from every troubling word. With his shoulders will they overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With his shield, with his truth and compass thee, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mist of a demon at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall I not come nigh. Only with thy night shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou mayest the most high thy refuge, no evil shall come nigh thee, and no skirt shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge for thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Upon the aspen basket shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him, I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, I will rescue him, and glorify him with length of days. Will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O Lord, glory be to thee. Again, again, in peace, let us praise the Lord. Lord have mercy. 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 Lord have Glad and by fasting rejoicing in hymnody and bearing dominion over all the passions through our petitions. Let us trample down the ambitions of Belial and following Christ. Let us cry, Demas worthy to behold thy cross, granting us great mercy, since thou art compassionate. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glad and by fasting rejoicing in hymnody and bearing dominion over all the passions through our petitions. Let us trample down the, uh, uh, the ambushes of Belial, and following Christ, let us cry, deem us worthy to behold thy cross, granting great mercy since thou art compassionate. Lord, by the ages of ages, amen. Thou who art blessed, O God, and with it, Mother pure, Heal thou mine ailing soul, for I am more distressed with many sins and failings that afflict me, O Theotokos. Wherefore I cry out to thee with the gross of my burdened heart, 
graciously receive me now who have said much a spotless one that I may cry to thee with great boldness rejoice a boy of God have mercy on me O God according to the great mercy and according to the motive of the compassion that of my transgression wash me thoroughly from iniquity and cleanse me from my sin for I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me against the only be sinned and done this evil before thee that thou mightest have justified in the words and prevail in our judge Behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins, and my mother bare me. Behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with his, but I shall be me clean, thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me her joy and gladness, the bones to be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, the governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in their righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall clear their praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it, hope and offering, thou shalt not be pleased. Sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, the heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. The good Lord, the good pleasure, and to Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem be built, then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and hope and offerings. Then shall for bullets upon an altar. Save, O God, thy people, and bless thy inheritance. <clears throat> Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of war of Christians, and send down upon us thy rich mercies. By the intercession of all the magnificent theologians, and the virgin by Mary, by the power of the honor and life of the cross, by the protection of heaven, by the scars, the creation of the womb, by the scars from Baptist John, the holy glory of the apostles, by the holy intercession, Jesus of Paul, with Christ, the holy priest, and John Maximus. Archbishop of San Francisco, the Lord revealed the righteous, the Lord revealed the Son of the Father, the righteous Father, the Holy Spirit, the intercessions of Christ God, the mercy and the Savior, our Father, among the saints, cut for the wonder work of Bishop Glenn, the Spirit of Saint Herbert, his soul, his aesthetic, his memory, keep the. Whose memory we celebrate of all the saints, we beseech thee, thou only greatly merciful God, hearken unto us, we pray unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. By the mercy and compassion and love for men of the only begotten the Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all holy and good life, creating spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. The chariot here of Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder, when in the cross's form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain, and it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. The Lord is King of the ages, yea, forever and evermore. Since thine achievements soar beyond the limits of the strength and wisdom of men, O God, bearing Cuthbert, how shall praise of thee be possible without the help of grace? Hence I pray thee, O Father, illuminate my benighted mind, that I might extol thee befittingly. For the horse of Pharaoh with chariots and riders went into the sea, and the Lord brought upon them the water of the sea. The when sons of Israel walked through dry land in the midst of the sea. When thou wast playing childish games and frisking with thy friends, the Lord Sabbath, whose praise is perfected, in the mouths of babes and sucklings gave thee marvelous rebuke through a three-year-old infant who strangely wept and admonished thee, setting thee apart as God's servitor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O Cuthbert, glory of Northumbria, and Durham's glittering gem, thou worker of wonders, who hast sanctified both land and sea with tears and toils for Christ, as in life thou didst travel through hills and hamlets to, sur to succor all, so come now to us with thy quickening grace. Both now and ever in the ages of ages, amen. When Eve consented to the serpent, death gained access to our nature through her, but thou, in accepting the strange tidings brought by Gabriel, O Virgin, full of grace, gavest God full admittance into our nature as one of us, working our return and the deliverance. Attend to heaven, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Let mine instruction be awaited like rain, and let my words come down like dew, like a shower upon the tender grass, like snow upon the green herb. For I have called upon the name of the Lord, and rendered majesty unto our God. As for God, his works are true, and all his ways are judgments. God is faithful, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Righteous and holy is the Lord. They have sinned, blameworthy children are not his. O generation crooked and perverse, are these the recompenses you pay to the Lord? This is the people foolish and not wise. Did not he himself, thy father, take thee for his own, and make thee and fashion thee? Remember the days of old, consider now the years of generation and generations. Ask thy father, and he will declare unto thee thine elders, and they will tell thee. 
When the Most High divided the nations, when he scattered abroad the sons of Adam, he set the boundaries of nations according to the number of the angels of God. And there were made a portion for the Lord, Jacob his people, the line of his inheritance was, was Israel. He filled them with abundance in the wilderness, in the thirsting of heat in a waterless land. He led them about and instructed him and kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle would shelter his nest and hath yearning for his nurslings and spreading his wings hath received them and hath taken them upon his pinions. So the Lord alone led them and there was no strange God among them. He brought them up on the strength of the land. He fed them with the increase of the fields. He suckled them with the honey from a rock and with oil out of the solid rock, with butter of cows and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs and rams, of sons of bulls and he goats, with the fat of kidneys of wheat, and they drank wine, the blood of the grape. And Jacob ate and was filled, and and the beloved one kicked. He grew fat, he grew thick, he waxed broad, and he forsook God who had made him, and departed from God his Savior. They provoked me with strange gods, and with their abominations they embittered me. They sacrificed to demons and not to God, to gods whom they knew not, new and recent gods were come, which their fathers knew not. Thou hast abandoned the God who begat thee, and hast forgotten God who, f- who feedeth thee. And the Lord saw and was jealous, and he was provoked by the wrath of his sons and daughters. And he said, I will turn my face away from them. I will show what shall come upon them in the last days, for it is a perverse generation, sons in whom there is no faith. They have made me jealous with that, with that which is not God. They have angered me with their idols. I will provoke them to jealousy with what with that which is no nation, with a foolish nation will I provoke them to wrath. For a fire is kindled out of my wrath, it shall burn unto nethermost Hades. I shall devour them and the land and the increase thereof. It shall set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will gather evils upon them, I will perfect mine arrows against them. They shall melt away in famine and the devouring of birds. The bending down of their backs shall be incurable. Teeth of wild beasts shall I send forth against them along with the wrath of things that creep upon the earth. From without the sword shall bereave them of children, and out of their inner chambers shall issue fear. The young man shall perish with the maiden, the suckling with him that long hath been old. I said I would scatter them, I would make their memorial to cease from among men, were it not for the wrath of their enemies, yea, lest their adversaries should live long and unite to set upon them. Lest they should say, our own right hand, our own high hand, and not the Lord hath done all these things. For it is a nation that hath lost counsel, and there is no understanding in them. And they have not the wit to understand all these things. Let them admit in a time that is to come, he, how shall one man pursue a thousand, and how shall two put to flight tens of thousands, if God had not yielded them up, and the Lord surrendered them? For their gods are not ours, our God, and our enemies are void of understanding. For out of the vines of Sodom is their vine, and their vine branch out of Gomorrah. Their grape is a grape of gall, is a cluster of bitterness to them. The rage of dragons is their wine, and the incurable wrath of asps. Lo, are not all these things stored up with me, and sealed among my treasuries? My treasures? In the day of vengeance I will requite, and the moment when their foot stumbleth, for nigh is the day of their perdition, and the things prepared for you are at hand. For the Lord shall judge his people, and because of his servants shall he be comforted. For he saw that they were palsied and had failed in their invasion, and they were enfeebled. And the Lord said, Where are their gods in whom they trusted? The fat of whose sacrifice ye ate, and ye drank the wine of their libations. Let them arise, let them help you, let them be your pr- pr- protectors. Behold, behold, I am, and there is no God beside me. I will slay, and I will make to live, I will smite, and I will heal, and there is none who shall deliver out of my hands. For unto heaven I will lift up my hand, and I will swear by my right hand, and I will say, I live unto eternity. For I will sharpen my sword like lightning, and my hand shall take hold of judgment. I will render justice unto mine enemies, and them that hate me will I recompense. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall feed on flesh, on the blood of wounded men and of captivity, from the head of the princes of the enemy. Be glad with him, O ye heavens, and let all the angels of God worship him. Be glad, ye nations, with the, his people, let all the sons of God be strengthened to, in him. For the blood of his son shall he avenge, and he shall judge and execute vengeance upon his enemies. And to them that hate him shall he render their due, and the Lord shall purify the land of his people.
See, see that I am God who commanded Moses to lead the captive people of Israel in the wilderness and save them by my power since I am mighty. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. <clears throat> Adopting me as a son through the labor of baptism, the transcendently good Father called me and adorned me with all manner of riches. <clears throat> But I willingly served unfruitful thoughts, whence I became a beggar. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Be gracious, be gracious, be gracious, O Lord, judge my judgment for me, O righteous judge, even my groaning, which is little, for the sake of thy mercy, which is great. Receive me, O Christ, and disregard me not. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Let us strip off the encumbering raiment of excess, and put on the, ra the radiant robe of abstinence, and shining brightly attain to the radiant arising of the Redeemer. Most holy Tetoko, save us. Save me, O save me, who thou who gavest birth to the Savior. Behold mine affliction, O pure one, which the multitude of mine immeasurable evils daily produceth in my wretched soul because of my despair. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. See, see that I am he who as God have made salvation to well up for you, which all ye mortals shall draw forth through abstinence. <clears throat> glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. See, see that I am he who appointed the sacred and holy season for you as feasting for the soul, even the stadium of the fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us glorify the Trinity, let us worship the unity, even the only begotten, beginningless Son of the beginningless Father and the Spirit of one throne with the Son, and co-eternal co with the Father. <clears throat> Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Unceasingly importune the Savior, O all blameless Lady, that all who with both mouth and soul confess Thee to be the Theotokos, be rescued from every adversity. Glory to Thee, our God, glory to Thee. Great art Thou, O Lord, and wondrous are Thy works, for once Thou didst show forth Daniel, who was hedged about with fasting, uneaten by the lions in the pit. <coughs> See, see that I am the Savior of the world, the true light, the fountain of life, the Son of God. The Lord hath gone up into the heavens and hath thundered. He will judge the ends of the earth, for he is righteous. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in When thou camest unto Boizo, he foresaw what great sanctity Thou wast attained in thy noble struggles, and with joy took the care of thee. And he will give strength to our kings, he will lift up the horn of his anointed one. Lead us as a seasoned soldier on the battlefield of the fast, inspiring zeal for the fight of virtue in thy servants who long for thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Heal me of my maladies, that rising up with my strength renewed, I might give thanks for thy grace, O God, birth, magnifying the source thereof. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Gabriel, prepare thyself for thy descent unto Nazareth, to speak for God to our blameless virgin, who exceeded thy holiness. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit that sing thy praise. Please, continuation of thoughts for each day of the year. Our Father on the Saints, they found the recluse. Holy Master, bless. Amen. The fears of the Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy us and save us. Amen. <clears throat> Wisdom, God the Word, has built a house for herself, the Holy Church, and in it she has prepared her table, the Word of God and the Holy Mysteries, especially the mystery of Christ's body and blood. And she has sent forth her servants, the holy apostles and their successors, to call everyone to herself for the supper. Many have already been called, but the summons still continues. So let the whole house be filled. The feast continues unceasingly. Glory be to God who is so merciful toward us. Let us all go. Let us enter in. Let no one remain outside the door. During these days of the fast, the summons is particularly intensified and the spiritual supper is particularly abundant. This makes all, it all the more inexcusable to be deprived of the supper. Let all carve in their memory the following words of wisdom. They that sin against me act wickedly against their own souls. And so have pity upon yourself. 
to the prayers of the Holy Mass and Lord Jesus Christ, our God, our Christ, and save us. Amen. Again, again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us to God by the grace. Holy and remember to our Holy Mac, the most blessed Lord, we give to us and never virgin of all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. <coughs> for thou art the King of peace and the Savior. Our, uh, for thou art our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having passed every stage of monastic life, thou didst enter with joy into solitude to do battle openly with the Prince of the fallen world. And thy old age was called to the work of our bishopric, which for two years thou nobly didst bear with untiring zeal. Then thou didst return to locked for still as contending in fights greater than the first to prepare for eternal life, O divine God, bird worker of science, intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and the ages of ages, Amen. By conceiving the wisdom and word of God in thy womb without being consumed thereby, thou bearest for all the world him who filleth the universe. Thou dost hold in thine arms him that holdeth all in his grasp, who created creation and giveth their food to all. Wherefore I beseech thee, O thou all holy virgin and mother of God, that I be redeemed from my many sins when I shall have to stand before the face of my Creator and God. O pure Lady Virgin, help me in that hour, for thou canst do whatsoever thou dost will, O all him may. I have hearkened and heard the Lord all the dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. The Lord is my God and my might, and he will instruct my feet unto perfection. As a shepherd of blameless life, thou didst see the spirit of Aden taken up, and was pricked with zeal to quit the world, being led by God to tend a greater flock. He mounted me on high, that all might be victors with his song. Thou wast cheerful and, uh, eff and affable, good to all and wise in the meekness of thy ways, firm with courage in adversity, terrible to demons through thy faith in Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ere the battle of Necton's mere, thou didst both foresee how the king would be cut down, and didst tell it to a saint in none as a prophet heralding what God revealed. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To restore our progenitors to their first estate with their whole corrupted race, thou didst find a virgin free of blame, making her thy mother and our champion. For the due which thou hast... Wherefore hast thou deprived me, and cast me, the hapless one, far from thy countenance, and the outer darkness hath enshrouded and cast its gloom over me. Yet now I beseech thee to thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. For the dew which thou sendest is healing for them, but the land of the ungodly shall perish. Otters came forth to warm thee after night long vigil at prayer in the, the icy sea, and thy warmth of kindness healed thy secret observer who saw the deed and was fully frozen with the dread and terror at the wonder, but revived at thy father the sympathy. Go, my people, enter thine inner chamber, shut thy door, hide thyself for a little while, until the wrath of the Lord shall pass away. Being stranded in winter, having no provisions nor hope of the help of men, midst the raging tempest, thou didst storm, higher, thou didst storm highest heaven with fervent prayer, which was swiftly answered with wondrous food and fairest weather, showing what kind of servant of Christ thou wast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To the hill country herdsmen thou didst take thy journey, not grudging the heavy toils, and thy signs and sermons send the light of thy sanctity flashing forth, bring to repentance them that had stumbled in the darkness, but now soared to the heights given wings by thee. Both now and ever in the ages of ages, amen. What more ready deliverance can there be than crying, Rejoice, virgin full of grace, whom the Lord elected as the vessel of joy for the race of man, who on being greeted with the archangel's salutation, giveth joy to thy servants a hundredfold. They that observe vain and false things have abandoned mercy for themselves. When thou didst come to the far, a man of prayer set aflame with grace, the demons fled from their hand, and thou as a victor didst establish thy citadel where no man before thee had been able to endure alone. But as for me, with a voice of praise and thanksgiving will I sacrifice unto thee, Whatsoever I have vowed for my salvation, I will pay unto thee, O Lord. 
The ravens, still in thy straw, offered repentance at thy rebuke, and ever after obeyed thy will and commandments, showing wonderful reverence to a man of wonders who had made God's will his whole desire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy garments cured the diseased, thy words of wisdom healed ailing souls, thy cheerful countenance filled with God, giving gladness all who came to thee faithfully. Righteous Father Cuthbert, visit us with thy benevolence. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The unendurable fire of the divinity dwelt in thee, burning away from our nature every corruption and defilement and darkening, making thee the mother of our race, redeemed from ease, reproach. Mm, o Lord, be gracious to me, from many are my iniquities, and from the pit of my wicked deeds raise me up, I pray, for unto thee have I cried. O God of my salvation, and my Savior, hearken unto me. Φιλαξονή μα στο Θεό στη χάρη τη Σπανία στα χρόνια, υπερευλογημένη σαν το ψευδέστηνη Σιμώντα Τόρκα, υπέστη Μαρία με τα πάντα των Αγίων Ιωνεύσεων. Σε αυτού του χειρού και πάστε με ζωή, είναι μαχρίστο το Θεό παραθώ με αυτό. Σε ο Βασιλεύ τη Ειρήνη, ο Τέρτο Ψυχών ημών και εσύ την δόξα να πέμε το πατρί και το ιό και το ιό πνεύμα την νικία Ιγη Ιησού αιώνα των αιώνων. Hast made thy saints brighter than gold, and has glorified thy righteous, since thou art good. Being employed by them, O Christ God, make our life peaceful as the friend of man, and let our prayer be set forth as incense. Thou who alone dost rest in the saints. Synaxion. On the twentieth of this month, we commemorate the righteous fathers who were slain by the Bedouins in the monastery of Saint Sabas, the sanctified. From the Lord's hand shall you receive twofold garlands for ascetic labors and for blood as martyrs. On the 20th, the Abbas went from earth to vast heaven. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father Nicetus, the confessor bishop of Apollonius. Nicetus, who endured grim things for thine image, now seeth thy countenance, O Christ, in heaven. On this day, we commemorate the holy seven martyred women of Amasus, Alexandria, Claudia, Ephrosia, Matrona, Juliana, Euphemia, and Theodosia. The virginal number of seven revealed seven virgin women who were slain by burning. On this day, the holy martyr Rodion was perfected martyrdom by the sword, as a red rose is Rodion gladly offered to Dio Christ in a newly reddened body. On this day, Saint Aquila the Eparch was perfected martyrdom by the sword, an unblemished victim was thou, O Aquila, severed with the sword for the unblemished master. On this day, Saint Lolian was perfected martyrdom when beaten with fists. Lolian stood bearing the blows and the beatings, and from him escaped neither groaning nor moaning. On this day, Saint Emmanuel was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. Emmanuel said, By the sword, let me pour out my very own blood, though it be but a cupful. On this day, the holy new martyr Miron of Crete was perfected in martyrdom by hanging in the year 1793. O athlete Miron, who art Crete's boast and glory, from the news thou becamest married to the angels. On this day, we commemorate our father among the saints, Martin, Archbishop of Braga. Pannonia, which once gave to us the great Martin, now giveth another rightly worthy to Braga. On this day we commemorate our father among the saints Cuthbert, Bishop of Lindisfarne, and the Wonder Worker. With the sword of prayer, Cuthbert cutteth the demons, so the uncouth, uncouth fiends cut, so the uncouth fiends cut a wide berth about him. On this day we commemorate our righteous father Herbert, fellow ascetic of Saint Cuthbert. On this day we commemorate our righteous father Ephrosinus of Sinozersk. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon, to the fire of the furnace. They trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Blessed art thou upon the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, thou who art supremely praised and supremely exalted unto the ages. The divine grace within thee both transfigured thy soul and transformed those seeing thee from vassals of deception to vessels of election, who had learned to cry out with thee, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Blessed art thou in the firmament of the heavens, thou who art supremely praised and supremely exalted unto the ages. As a priest at God's altar, thou didst serve him with tears thou couldst not restrain or hide, for in thy master's presence thy labors for his love's sake burst in flower with shouts of joy. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God is set an example for the monks by the lowly and wise simplicity, for even in the bishop the monk was ever present, scorning pride and beholding Christ. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. 
both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Though our failings be many, we confess with assurance that he whom thou didst bear is God, our Lord and Maker. And by thy pleas for pardon, we are saved as we cry to him, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Blessed Lord, all you works the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Blessed Lord, ye angels of the Lord, and ye heavens of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Blessed Lord, all ye waters above the heavens, and all ye powers of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Blessed Lord, O sun and moon, and ye stars of heaven. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Bless the Lord, every rain and dew, and all ye winds. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Bless the Lord, fire and heat of burning, winter, cold, and summer heat. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Let us ever extol and praise the Lord God, who is seen of all the, on the holy mount in glory, who by the fire of bush revealed the great mystery of the other virgin, and undefiled maiden unto the prophet Moses. Bless the Lord, O falls of dew and snow, O ice and cold. Let us ever extol and oh, praise the Lord, supreme exaltment to the ages. Let us ever extol and praise the Lord God, who was seen of old on the holy mountain in glory, who by the fiery bush revealed the great mystery of the ever virgin and undefiled maiden unto the prophet Moses. Bless the Lord, o, Lord, o hoar frost and snows, O lightnings and clouds, O praise the Lord, supreme exaltment to the ages. For the zeal of thy service to a stranger, thou wast honored with loaves from paradise, O Cuthbert, and kindling thee to diligence more marvelous, bartering things earthly for the endless treasure of love for God and neighbor. Blessed Lord, O light and darkness, O nights and days, O praise ye the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. As the sun at his setting is majestic, as the moon at the morn is pale with silver splendor, so thou wast fair with beauty at thy going forth from thine earthly struggles to the longed for haven o glory, o ever, of glory everlasting. Blessed Lord, O earth and mount, mountains and hills and all things that spring up therein, O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Both at Melrose and Lindisfarne, O Cuthbert, thou wast always at prayer and crucified to all things, while also preaching Christ unto the country folk as a true apostle, bring forth the brightness of heaven on the earth born. Bless the Lord, O fountains, seas, and rivers, O monsters of the sea, and all things that move in the waters. O praise ye the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. O magnificent vessel of the splendor of the glory of God, O ever virgin lady, O portal of the mercy God doth show to men, open thy compassions unto our afflictions, and help us in our weakness. Bless the Lord, all you winged creatures of the sky, O beasts and all cattle. O praise ye the Lord, and supreme exalt him unto the ages. <coughs> Glory to the Lord, God, glory. I mourn and I bewail myself when I think of the hour when I shall stand before the terrible throne, giving account of my many evil deeds which I have committed in ignorance and knowledge. Bless the Lord, you sons of men, let Israel bless the Lord. O praise the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. <coughs> Moses, finding a fasting to be purifying, contemplated God, who alone is pure. O my soul, cleanse thyself through fasting, that thou mayest draw nigh unto God, the friend of man. Bless, Lord, you priests of the Lord, you servants of the Lord. O praise you, the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. Let us love fasting, the mother of virtues. Let us abhor delicate living, the genitress of passions. And let us cry, O Father, which art in the heavens, save us, save us by the prayers of thy saints. Bless, Lord, you spirits and you souls of the righteous, you saints, and ye that be humble of heart. O praise you, the Lord, and supreme exalt him unto the ages. Importune the judge to whom thou gavest birth, O pure virgin, Mariam, that at the hour of judgment he may take compassion and save me, the condemned one, only protection of the race of man. Blessed Lord, O Ananias, Azarias, and Misael, O praise you, the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. Initiated into the transcendently bright grace of the fast, let us shine like lightning with virtues, displaying serene countenances and serene manners in the orderly condition of our soul. Bless the Lord, ye apostles, prophets, and martyrs of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, as supreme exalt him unto the ages. When Eliseus had fasted, he gave back the child alive unto the Shumanite woman. Hereby let us know, brethren, how great a good is fasting, a God-given grace. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. We praise the Lord, as supreme exalt him unto the ages. With the Father we worship the Son and the Holy Spirit, the unity in Trinity. And with the angels we unceasingly cry out with our mouths of clay, Glory in the highest to God in Trinity. Both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone bearest a child while remaining a virgin, O most grace of God. Great is the mystery, formidable the prodigy. For thou gavest birth to God incarnate, the Savior of the world. 
Glory to our God, glory to thee. Let none of us be cast into heedlessness and sluggishness, O brethren. It is the time for work, the hour of festival. Who then is so prudent as in one day to gain all the ages? Mm -hmm. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. To the Lord who appeared when he condescended in the flame unto the children of the Hebrews with divine strength, give praise, O ye priests, and supremely exalt them unto all the ages. Μεγαλύνει ψυχή μου τον Κύριο εν κυγαλία σε το πνεύμα μου επί το Θεό το σωτήρι μου την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβήν και εν δοξωτέραν να συγκρίτω στον σεράφιμ την αδία φθορος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν την όντος θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνωμεν For he hath looked upon the lowliness of his hand made in for behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim he without corruption gave his birth to God the word the very Theotokos thee do we magnify. Ave Christ, ave Megalia, dina tos ke agion to onom aftu, ke to eleus aftu is genean ke genean tis povumenis aftan. Cesne ishu yu cheruvim, islavne ishu yu besremne ni aserafim. Bezislene ya boga slovaros chuyu, sushtu yu bogoroditsu ti avelichayem. He has strove strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. He who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. <laughs> Tina the Aftoros the Unlogon the Kusan, Tinondos the Otokos and Megalino. Yet open and serve in Israel remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos. The do we magnify? The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed, for God appeared bodily to mankind as very man, and lo, the womb had proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For this, with the was the choirs and assemblies of men and angels magnified thy name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and wrought redemption for his people. For Lord upon the Upon the farm in thy final days, spent with, sick, spent with sickness and age, thou by demons wast more fierce assailed in those five long days than in all thy life to purge away the last remains of the fallen men from the mighty soul that, shining with the trophies of contest, fought completely, thou mightest go to Christ, the perfect man. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. For Lord, upon the farm in the High now days, spent with sickness and age, thou by demons was more fierce assailed in those five long days than in all thy life, to purge away the last remains of the fallen man from thy mighty soul, that shining with the trophies of contest fought completely, thou mightest go to Christ the perfect man. As he spake by the mouth of his holy ones, the prophets of old. The awesome incorruption of thy remains through the ages had shown to what holiness thou didst attain through thy living faith in the Son of God, who loved and chose thee from thy youth making thee a worker of miracles, for knowing that the greatest of all thy many wonders would be thy never escaped humility. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. The water whence thou drankest was turned to wine, and the ills of the suffering at thine approach were turned to health by the Holy Spirit who dwelt in thee, in whom thou livest evermore, and dost come invisibly even now to those who call with longing upon thy name, O Cuthbert, come turn our sorrows into godly joy to deal mercifully with our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Indeed, the deepest yearning of all mankind and of angels to see our artificer had been fulfilled, to behold him open face to face, for he upon whom none may gaze took our human form from the blameless womb, not lowering the Godhead, but raising man to glory and making thee the longed-for queen, queen of all. 
the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies. Fallen into open seas of sin, into depths of despair, <coughs> swelling waves of thoughts, and sudden storms of passions that cry out, Thou that art in the abyss of mercy, help me, and in thy compassion shower upon me the forgiveness of sins. The, the, that we might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Let us cleanse the body through fasting, the spirit through abstinence, and the soul through tears, O ye faithful. And being pure, we shall brightly meet the pure, beholding his saving passion, which the Redeemer suffered for us. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to repair his ways. Like the publican I sigh, like the harlot I weep, like the thief I cry, Remember me, O compassionate one, like the blind man I cry to thee. O Son of God, open the eyes of my soul, which have been blinded through the wickedness of the cunning supplanter. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the bowels of the mercy of our God. O ye faithful, let us call the Virgin Blessed, the unhewn mountain, the impassable gate, her who is higher than the heavens and all creation, the comeliness of Jacob, the all-golden urn, and the bridge, and the Creator's mother. Whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Knowing the present days to be more sacred than all others, let us send up prayers unto God with a pure conscience, bending the knee more often and saying, O Lord, ever accept thy servant's supplications and prayers. To guide our feet into the way of peace. The people that sat down to eat and drink, as it is written, rose up to play, worshipping the graven image of Belphegor. <clears throat> Behold, what grievous offspring are conceived of gluttony, but let us fast, and we shall be glorified like great Moses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By essence, the transcendently divine Trinity is an indivisible unity. United in nature, he is divided in persons individually. For without being severed, he is severed. Being one, he is three. This is the Father, the Son, and the living Spirit, which protecteth the whole world. <coughs> Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Whoever heard of a childbearing virgin and a mother without a man, thou, o Mariam, performest a wonder. But tell, but tell me who, but tell me how came it to pass. Search not the depths of my giving birth to God. In all truth, to comprehend this is beyond the understanding of man. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Since thy wrathfulness towards sinners cannot be endured, who then, O Lord, shall bear that threatening? O thou who hast immeasurable mercy, save me because of thy compassion, not according to my deeds, which are many and grievous. Mm, all man, silent Moses beheld thee in the bush, who on birth didst receive in thy womb the fire of the Godhead. Daniel beheld thee as an unhewn mountain, Isaiah's cried of thee as the rod that bought it from the root of David. It is truly me to call thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever-blessed and all-immaculate and mother of our God. Moran, rebel than the cherubim, and be uncompared more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption givest birth to God the word, the very Theotokos thee do we magnify. Again and again in peace to the Spirit of the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us save us, have mercy, and give us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. All you from us, Ra, holy Mac, the most blessed Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life in Christ our Lord, God. Lord, for all the hosts of the heavens praise thee, and unto thee to be sent up, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Send forth thine everlasting light, O Christ God, and enlighten the hidden eyes of my heart <clears throat> by the intercessions of the forerunner, O Lord, and save me. Send forth thine everlasting light, O Christ God, and lighten the eyes of my heart by the intercessions of the hierarch, O Lord, and, and save, save me. Send forth thy light, O Christ God, and lighten my heart by the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord, and save me. It is good to give praise unto, unto, Lord. unto thee. Unto thee, glories do, Lord our God, unto thee, we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages.
Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, Thou that takes away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us, for Thou and the Lord, Holy Thou and the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been a refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against Thee. The Lord, unto Thee, I fled for refuge, teach me to do Thy will, for Thou art my God. For in Thee is the fountain of life, and Thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them to know thee, vow to the Lord to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified as thy name in the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, grant me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever and stay in the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due song, unto the glory is due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and give us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. The whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask Grant this, O Lord. The need for peace of faithful God, a God of our souls and bodies. Let us ask Grant Lord. this, O Lord. For the of our sins and offenses. Let us ask Grant God. this, O Lord. Things for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask Grant Lord. this, O Lord. That we complete the reign time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask Grant God. this, O Lord. For Christian and our life painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense. Before the judge, before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask God. This o Lord, 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 L
against thee, I dare not turn my gaze towards heaven, for having fallen away therefrom, I am become wretched. I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to be called thy son. I denounce myself, I have no need of an accuser, nor yet of witnesses. My prodigality paradeth me about in defeat. I have my foul way of life that invadeth against me. I have my present nakedness to disgrace me, at least tatters wherewith I am clothed to my shame. O compassionate Father, only begotten Son and O Holy Spirit, receive me repenting and have mercy on me. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and the works of our hands do our God right upon us. May the work of our hands do the God our right in the middle of the stadium of the lawless, the prize winners cried out with rejoicing, O Lord, glory be to Thee. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who is now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thou wast inexplicably born of a virgin, and didst enlighten them that were in darkness, O Christ, as they cried, O Lord, glory be to Thee. Unto the Lord and to chant unto the name of Most High, to proclaim in the morning the mercy and the truth by night. Peace be to despot, our holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, mercy on us, holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, mercy on us, holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins. <coughs> Master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. In the name of the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As we stand in the temple of thy glory, we reckon ourselves to be standing in heaven, O Theotokos, O heavenly gate, open unto us the portal of thy mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the age of days, that are mercy. Amen. Both. Amen. More honorable than cherubim, beyond cherubim, glorious than seraphim, you that corrupt and give birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, he to magnify the name of the Lord, Holy Master, bless. Blessed is he that is, even Christ our God, always now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, may steadfast our, our faithful, our sacred sinner, establish the faith, subdue the nations, give peace to the world, guard well the sacred monastery and town. Appoint our fathers and brethren who are gone before us a place in the tabernacles of the just, and accept us in repentance and confession, for thou art good and the friend of man. O Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, curiosity, ambition, and idle talk, give me not. By a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love, bestow upon me thy servant. Yea, O Lord King, grant to see my own failings, and not to condemn my brother for blessed are down to the ages of ages. O 
Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. 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 Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Yea, O Lord, King, grant me to see my own failings and not to condemn my brother, for blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship before thou and before our King God. O come, let us worship before thou and before Christ our King God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ, the King and our God. Under my words, give your Lord, hear my cry, attend to the voice of my supplication, of my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning shall I hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and not to look upon me, for not a God of bliss and equity of thou. He that worketh thee will shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgress or abide before thine eyes. Thou hast hated all the network in equity, thou shalt destroy them and speak a lie. A man is bloody and deceitful to the Lord of forbidders from me and a multitude of thy mercy shall I go into thy house, special worship to the holy temple and fear thee. O Lord, I be in away thy righteousness because of mine enemies, make straight my way before thee, for in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is made, their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues that they spoken deceitfully, judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out for thee from bitter thee, O Lord, and let all them be glad at hope in thee. They shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them, and thou shalt glory in thee that love thy name. For thou shalt bless the righteous, Lord, as for the shield of thy good pleasure, as O Krampus. Lord, thou hast been a refuge in generation and generation before the mountains came to be, and the earth was formed, and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art. Turn up man away in the lowliness, yea, thou hast said, Turn back, ye sons of men, for a thousand years in thine eyes, O Lord, but as yesterday that's passed, and is watching the night. Things in no account shall the years be in the morning like grass, and man pass away, and in the evening shall they fall and grow withered and dry. For we have fainted away, and I, for we have fainted away, and thy wrath and in thy anger have we been troubled. Thou set our iniquities before thee, our life span is in light of thy countenance, for all our days are fainted away, and in thy wrath we fainted away, our years like a spider has spun out her tail. As for the days over years and our span, every three score years and ten, and if we be in strength, we have four score years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For my illness has come upon us, and we should be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and not a fear of thee? Who can recount thine anger? So make thy right hand known to me, and to them in their heart are instructed in wisdom. Return, O Lord, I long, and be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We are filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice, and we are glad in all our days. Let us be glad for the days when let us humble us, for the years when we saw evils, and look upon thy servants, and upon thy works, that thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and works of our hands, that thou guide her right upon us, who the work of our hands, who thou guide her right. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding, in a blameless path, when will they come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart, in the midst of my house, I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes, the workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart have not cleaved unto me, as for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not, him that privately talked against his neighbor, did I drive away from me, with him as I was proud, and his heart insatiated, I did not eat, mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me, the man that walked in the blameless path, and ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not to the midst of my house, the speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly destroy all the city of the Lord, all the network in equity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, 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 me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God have mercy, me. 
Lord Jesus Christ, and God have mercy, me, 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. In the morning, hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. Unto my words give ear, O Lord, hear my cry. In the morning hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, but now and within the ages of ages, amen. What do we call thee, O full of grace, heaven for thou hast made the Son of righteousness and known forth, paradise for thou hast brought forth the flower of immortality, virgin for thou hast remained in the corrupt, pure mother for thou hast held in thy holy embrace, the Son who was the God of all, thee thou entreat him to save our souls. <laughs> My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. He's delighted us, but I hold the God of the mighty, holy, mortal mercy in us, for the God of the mighty, holy, mortal mercy in us, for the God of the mighty, holy, mortal mercy in us, for you to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, but now and to the ages of the ages of men. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious, and our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visiting our infirmities, for thy name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now, and now, and to the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, so be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now, and to the ages of ages. Amen. With heart and mouth, let us continually praise the supremely glorious Mother of God, who is holier than all the, than the holy angels, as we confess her to be Theotokos, for she verily gave birth unto God <coughs> in the flesh, and she interceded continually in behalf of our souls. 
Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy
And in thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. And let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on me be put to shame. Let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For in thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth, my ignorances, remember not according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them as sin in a way, who will guide him in judgment, who will teach him his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, and in them that seek under his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of the name, will Lord be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is a man that feareth the Lord? He will set him law in a way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are over toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one, only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loneliness, my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred that hated me. Keep my soul, and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have believed unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against the only of his sin, and unmeasurable before thee, that thou mightest be justified, and in words of fail not judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in the sins of my mother bear me. For behold, I was loved truth, the hidden and secret things of the wisdom also made manifest for me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness to bones, and be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, with the governing spirit establish me. I shall teach and discuss thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, and the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For a thousand sired sacrifice I have given it with open offerings, I shall not be pleased. The sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. To go to the Lord and make a pleasure on the sign, and look of all that Jerusalem will be builded. Then shall they be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the blaze of homeward offerings. Then shall they offer the looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and to the end of the ages of the Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy. Me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O
Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, my Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God, alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God, our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. O Lord, who at the third hour did send on thine Holy Spirit upon thine apostles, take not him from us, so good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Great. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down thine all Holy Spirit upon thine apostles, take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Kyria oto panagion su pneuma enti triti ora tis apostoli su katapemsas. Tutun agate mi andan eris afimon alen keni soni mintis de omeni su. Praise the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages, men of the altar was the star to true have blossomed forth for us, the fruit of life. Thee we supplicate to intercede the Lady together with the Apostles and all the saints that are full of mercy. Blessed is the Lord God. Blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us so along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. He's polite to despot all. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now, and ever, and under the ages of ages of men, our Father, which art in heaven, tell it be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And then is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed art thou, Christ our God, who has shown forth the fishermen as supremely wise by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit, and through them this draw the world into thy net, O Refender of man. Glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grant thou speedy and lasting consolation unto thy servants of Jesus when our spirits are despondent. Be thou not parted from our souls when they be in affliction. Be thou not far from our minds when we are in perils, but do thou ever anticipate our needs. Draw nigh unto us, draw nigh, O thou who art everywhere present. And even as thou art ever with thine apostles, thus do thou also unite unto thyself, us who long for thee, O compassionate one, that being united with thee, we may praise and glorify thine O Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages of men. The hope and protection and refuge of Christians, the unassailable battlement, the storm free haven, the weary art thou, O Immaculate Theo, Togos, but as thou save us the world by thine unceasing intercessions, remember us also, O all him virgin. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy,
Ο Θεό διχτυρήσει μα και ευλογήσει μα, επιφάνει το πρόσωπο να θεωρεί μα και λύσει μα. Κυρία και δέσποτα τη ζωή μου, πνεύμα αργία, περιεργία, φιλαρχία και αργολογία μίμητο. Πνεύμα τη οφρουσίνη, ταπεινοφρουσίνη, υπομονή και αγάπη, χάρη σε μη τόσο τούτο. Ναι, κύριε Βασιλεύ, δώρησέ με τώρα τα αμαπτέσματα και μη κατεκρίνει τον αδερφόν μου ότι βλογητώ εσύ στους αιώνες των αιώνων. Ο Θεός ελάστη με το μερτωλό. 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 O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. The O Lord, King, grant this to my own failings, and not to condemn my brother. For blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. This is life, let's put holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen, O holy trinity, have mercy in us, Lord, grace us in our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we Forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and honor unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and thou, Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, have mercy on me, a sinner. And by the judgments which thou knowest, save me, thine unworthy servant, for blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, O Holy Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master of Christ, such a God, by the intercession of His only Magnum, the Son, the Mother, by the power of the only from cross, by the protection of the heaven, by the sparsification of the heaven, by the prophet and Baptist John, by the holy glorious of the Apostle, Peter and Paul, the Chief of the Twelve, the Seventy Father, among Saints, Nicholas, and Mildes, and the holy glorious great martyrs, George, George, Bear. To meet some stream, the holy glorious and triumphant victorious martyrs of Russian God, bearing fathers, Clement, and known both of the window workers, servants, and servants, and of Alaska, innocent juvenile of Alaska, taken to confess for Peter Moscow, be the elder of the fathers, among the saints, confessors, filler in New York, Glicator, Mena Christos, Mons of Florida, and righteous mothers, Xenia, Telesia, the fools for Christ's sake, holy Peter, and John, Max, Mons, Church, Bishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the holy righteous saints of God, Joe, Kim, and Anna, of our righteous fathers, who were slain by the Bedouins. And the monastery of Saint Salva, sanctified our Father among the saints, Cuthbert, the wonder worker, Bishop of Linden's farm, and Saint Herbert, his fellow ascetic, whose memory keep the name of all the saints, memory save us, for he is good and the friend of man. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Eternal be the memory. O good lover of mankind, if thy grace pours forth upon the grass, the flowers, and all earthly vegetation in its time, then the more so shalt thou grant to thy servant that which he requests of thee. For the air becomes clear, and the birds adorn their voices with varied melodies, singing glory to thy great wisdom. O the earth is clothed with a raiment of many colored flowers, woven without human hands, and is glad and celebrates the holy day. Water also my heart with the dew of thy grace, O good lover of mankind. Just as a sown field cannot sprout and nourish its plants without sufficient rainfall, so my heart is incapable of producing things pleasing to thee and of bearing the fruits of truth without thy grace. Lo, the rain nourishes the plants and the trees are crowned with diverse flowers. May the dew of thy grace also enlighten my mind and may it adorn my heart with the flowers of contrition, humility, love and patience. May my prayer draw near to thee, O Lord. Grant me thy holy seed, that I might bring thee a harvest of sheaves abundant in good fruits, and say, Glory to him who gave me this, that I might bring it unto him, and bow down to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Like a spiritual day star in heaven's firmament, that it's encompassed the whole world and its enlightenment souls. As thy name is glorified throughout the east and west, for thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore it is not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. The prayers of all the fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me.